Hey, what is up guys? Hey, Dubai Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has released iOS 14 Developer Beta 4, releasing this beta two weeks after the release of Beta 3. As expected, iOS 14 Developer Beta 4 has been released today. Now, if you're in the public beta testing program, I'll let you guys know on Twitter once this becomes available for you. It might be already available by the time you watch this video. Now, today, Apple released iOS 14 Developer Beta 4, as I mentioned, but they also released iPadOS Beta 4 is well for iOS 14, Watch OS 7 Beta 4, and TV OS 14 Beta 4 has also been released. So big day today for Apple. In this video, of course, I want to share with you guys some of the latest changes that I've come across so far with iOS 14 Beta 4. Now, I do have a device running Beta 3 here just for reference so we can see what's new here in comparison to to beta 4. Now first I want to talk about the size of a download. Right here if you're coming from beta 3 to beta 4 is going to be anywhere from 600 to 700 megabytes give or take on your device. Now the latest build number if we head on over to general here in settings you'll see that the latest build number for beta 4 is 18A5342 E and that's going to be the latest build number for the developer beta. Now there's a few changes here on the latest iOS 14. I first want to talk about the widgets because Apple continues to tamper with the widgets, adding new widgets and changes here to the widget panel. So if we head on over to the widget panel here, we now see that Apple has more preset widgets. So take a look here on the right beta three, on the left the beta four, we see that we have a few preset widgets here, but if we keep scrolling down, we see that in beta 4, we have more preset widgets right here that you can simply click and install, unlike beta 3, as you can see there. So let me scroll and show you once again. So here we go. You see that the widgets are preset here, and in beta 4, there's more presets. And then we go all the way down the list. Now, there's also a new widget available. The Apple TV Plus widget is now available in beta 4 as well. So if we head on over to the home screen here, we now have the Apple TV widget available. Now this one has different shapes as well, just like other widgets. So let's go here into the widget panel and add it. And let me show you all the different sizes available for the TV widget. We have the smaller one here. Then we also have the medium size and then the larger, which is the one that I'm displaying here on the display. So that's one of the major changes here to the widgets, adding the Apple TV widget directly to the home screen of the iPhone. Now I'm hoping for Apple to in the future maybe add the uh, connectivity toggles or platters here as well as the uh, music control platters for the widgets and maybe have those on the home screen. That would be a good option for those that would want that. Now let's head on over to settings because there's something major happening here. Take a look here at settings. The exposure notification system now has its own new category. Unlike iOS 14 beta 3, we now have exposure notifications. And this is where all the applications from your local authorities will let you know and gather the information using the exposure notification system. So at the moment, this is off because I haven't downloaded any of the public health authority applications available in my region. But once I do, this will be enabled and you'll be able to see if you've been exposed. And here's all the information that Apple provides, how exposure notification works. You see here your iPhone keeps a log of other phones near you. This includes iOS and Android devices as well. Uh, people can report if they have been exposed to COVID-19 using this system as well and the local authority applications. And if you've been exposed, you can be notified directly through this system as well and some information in privacy that you can read upon as well. Apple has this how exposure notification system works link right below there. So that's now live in beta four for iOS 14 as well. Of course, this uh, COVID-19 situation has really changed even the tech industry as you can see here but yeah a lot of great things happening with beta 4 of course i'll be updating you guys with a follow-up video i'm going to share with you guys additional new features and changes and things that i may come across after using the software for about two days 24 to 48 hours approximately i'll come back with another video sharing additional details from the latest beta with you guys so as of right now that is some of the latest changes i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys Real soon. Peace.